my channel if you're new here make sure you tap that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos coming up and if you've been rocking with me for a minute what's up what's good and welcome back today's 20 dollar tuesday 20 dollar tuesdays is a special time on my channel where i showcase super cute yet super affordable wigs for the lovely 20 dollar price range and below so let's just jump right in so y'all saw the title we are featuring more amazon headband wigs are y'all tired are y'all sick of me yet I hope not. According to the views that I see from my end, a lot of y'all are on the headband wig train. So choo choo, all aboard. Let's keep this thing going. So this is a part three video for featuring more Amazon headband wigs. I picked up six of them and we have some interesting things going on. A few of you requested headband wigs that came with a black headband straight up instead of the pattern one. So I have two of those. And also we're gonna be dabbling in a little bit of color. This actually looks brighter than I thought it would be. <laughs> so this should be interesting because I actually have some spray color where I'm gonna spray my hair to see if it matches this. I don't know y'all. We, we just gonna have to rock with it together. So yeah, I'm excited about today's Twenty Dollar Tuesday. Premiere party, whoever's watching, thank you so much for watching this with me. Make sure you chat with me, your favorites in the chat box, and make sure you comment your favorite down below. So if you're ready to see some more Amazon headband wigs, Keep on watching. All right, first one here is an Afro textured headband wig. It has this silver headband attached, which has a knot in the front. It does have the adjustable drawstring, which I have expressed before I really like. I actually want human hair companies to kind of adopt some type of drawstring like this, because I, I think I would like it even a little bit better than the Velcro. And this wig is actually very similar to the wig from my very first Amazon headband wig video, which y'all really, really are feeling. Thank y'all so much for watching that video because it means a lot to me. And the wig in that thumbnail, same texture, different headband. So let me show y'all how easy this is to plop on. For those of y'all who are new, let me show y'all. I'm throwing this on my head like this. I mean, hello. Hello. <laughs> that took literally no time. Let me adjust my camera so y'all can see the whole puff. Let me back up, let me back up. I don't have to do anything to this hair. It mimics a type 4A, 4B texture. I'm really just fluffing it out just for, for shits and giggles. Like, this is so freaking cute. I didn't think I was gonna like the sparkled headband, but I'm feeling it, especially with, I have a black dress on, let me show y'all. So, I have a black dress on today. Don't mind my underwear line. But yeah, like, oh! like this i'm feeling this see these headband wigs they can be a very casual slay but with this little sparkle kind of amps it up a little bit what do y'all think make sure you drop those comments down below and let me know yo this is cute and this literally took did this even take five seconds y'all i threw it on adjusted it and was done oh this looks a little bit off center this is so freaking cute and in my second amazon headband wig video i did show you how i changed out the headband by just putting another one on top. I really love the look of this one, so I don't wanna do that right now. So this right here is a win. I mean, <laughs> she's she's perfect. And this is actually how I wear my natural type 4B C hair. When it's out in its natural state, like not stretched out, I love to pull up in a puff just like this because it just, it looks so beautiful to me. It really makes me happy when companies come out with wigs that mimic my natural hair because this was not i don't know this just wasn't plentiful back when i start started wearing synthetic wigs five years ago so so happy to see something like this like come on who don't check me for those who deal with hair loss or thinning edges you don't necessarily have to show your edges like you can wear this more forward 
like so. You see what I mean? It's all a matter of preference. I think it looks very chic either way. Number one is already a winner, y'all. And remember, and please note that all links are in the description box. So if you want to know the price, click the link and add to cart, sis. In my past few videos, a lot of these wigs would sell out right away because people just really enjoy them. They're so convenient and easy. So if you see something you like, add it to cart. It's just that type of day. All right, next wig here is another kinky textured wig, but this has more like springy type of curls, similar to how um, type 3B, 3C here is. It has this headband, which I like this pattern. That's why I chose it. And it has the bangs. And y'all already know, y'all saw me finagle some bangs before in the past. So let's throw her on. And I love how roomy these headbands are. Like so comfortable. This literally can fit anyone's head size. So serious, especially due to the stretchy fabric. Oh my goodness, these curls are so cute. Now I'm stretching this out here and I would just tuck this underneath so that, you know, no one can see it. Y'all, like I'm, when I tell you, you don't need to show your edges. Look at what I'm talking about. You don't need to show them. Literally, you can just do this. This is super cute. I'm feeling this, y'all. However, these bangs are a lot for me, so let me just try to trim them out a little bit before we proceed. Now, here's a mistake you don't want to make. What you don't want to do is you don't want to cut and then leave the track exposed. So that was a little mistake I made, but you know what? Kinky curly hair is just very flexible. I'll just push it over like that and we're good to go. So cute. I'm telling you, no edges, no problem. These Amazon ways have you covered. And for 22, 23, 24, you can't beat that. You can't beat that. I know a lot of you have been asking about affordable headband wigs, and I have you covered. Now I do review human hair headband wigs as well. I have quite a few videos, so please, please check out my headband wig playlist because I have now, what, 10, 11 videos in there, and I have a lot more coming. I just keep building upon it because a lot of y'all want to see this. So, check it out after this video. All right, let's get into number three. Okay, so for number three, this is not a kinky curly style. These are curls. It comes with a headband like this attached. There's no drawstring. This actually reminds me of the Bobby Boss wig I reviewed, Bobby Boss Badu Jerry. I reviewed that when my girlfriend joined me to tell me her thoughts on some cheap headband wigs. And y'all are loving that video. <laughs> I swear, y'all have seen feeling like a star out here. <laughs> if you haven't checked out my girlfriend rating my cheap headband wigs, definitely check out that video too, but I'll link it down below. But yes, this is what it reminds me of. So I definitely see this being a very tight fit. For my medium size head, it's not an issue, but if you have a larger head, it might be. Now these curls are looking super synthetic-y to me. You can tell this is a synthetic wig, but girl, we just gonna... Yeah, she all shiny and whatnot. As far as the shine, you can definitely use dry shampoo or baby powder to alleviate that. Oh, and she also has a comb in the front here and a comb in the back. So let's toss her on. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So this is not one of those wigs where you could just throw on and go. You definitely have to adjust the curls to your liking. Um, the curls themselves, I don't know. Like, it just screams synthetic to me. And I've become a lot more picky about the curls I wear when I choose synthetic wigs. 2015 Gladys might have been like, oh, this isn't so bad. But now that I'm in 2020 and I'm a lot more picky, already I can tell this is not something I would buy again. But this is something if you buy her and you feel the way I feel, you can like make her work. I'm just grabbing my paddle brush and this is what she looks like without brushing through her, but I'm gonna brush through her and see if the curls turn into something worth fighting for. I don't know, are we getting somewhere? Like, how are y'all feeling about this? Um, I don't know if I 
want these curls in my head. Okay. Right now, this wig is looking like a and oh hell no. So I'm gonna just try half a pep down because that seems to be my go-to. Like whether I like a wig or not. I'm like, if I could rock it half up, half down, maybe, maybe we can be something. Maybe we can be somebody. If you wanna be somebody, if you wanna go somewhere, better wake up and pay attention. Okay. Um Hmm. Of course, because it's a cheaper synthetic wig, there's definitely quite a bit of tangling within these curls. You know, normally I feel like I could finesse anything, but this one is giving me more of a challenge. Yeah. So, this is what I'm getting so far, and normally I would like this style, but, but due to the fibers and the shininess and the, I don't, yeah. It's something that I can make work, but I wouldn't want to. You know what I mean? Also, I was feeling a little nostalgic in the beauty supply store. So your girl bought some Bobos. <laughs> I know a lot of people are familiar with these because they probably either have them put in their hair or they put them in their daughter's hair. So I'm just gonna wear one and see what she's looking like. You're probably gonna see me do this in the video again, but y'all are gonna be the first to see me try this out. <laughs> Literally, probably haven't worn one of these since '96. I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna put one in. And I was feeling a little froggy, so I also got some color. I got these like brown autumn fall colors. They had so many colors up in the beauty supply store. I was like, oh my god! It almost made me want a daughter. Almost. So I'm just gonna put this bobo in. Maybe it'll inspire you all to. Wear bobos again. I mean, are we too grown to wear these? Are we too grown? Look. <laughs> Am I too grown for this? I don't get, look. We about to put another one in, hold on. We're about to put in another one. Because why not? Hold on. My God. My God. Okay. <laughs> okay, I don't know if me doing this style is really saving this wig. Premiere party, how y'all feeling? Let me know. I think it's, the, the the vision is there. The vision is there, but I just wouldn't do it with this wig again. But I think I might start rocking these little bubbles again. Also, do y'all call them bubbles where you're from? I'm originally from New York, New York City. That's where I grew up and that's what we call them. But you know, y'all do things differently in the South and the Midwest and the Cali, wherever. So let me know what y'all call these. But I think the style stuff is cool. I think the style stuff is cute. Is this something that you would buy? Are y'all adding this to the cart? Let me know. Oh, these curls. Okay, I'm ready to take this off. Let's get into wig number four. All right, so we have wig number four. I bought another braided bun because I wanted to see if there was a difference between this one and the last one I bought in my other video. Also, you all want to see like black headbands and this comes with one, so I was really excited to pick this up and show you all. So same type of construction with the adjustable band here. And some of you may be wondering if there are any cons to these wigs. Other than that curly one I put on, which I wasn't feeling like the, the luster and the those curls on the wig. These other wigs, I have no complaints. I think for the price point, they are excellent and they mimic natural hair. So let's see what this one's looking like. Oh, yes. Okay. Let me tell y'all, if you saw my part two video for the Amazon wigs, y'all know that other braided wig was flip flopping around, slip and slide. But this one is sturdy. Like, I feel like it's actually stitched properly onto this. And not even that, this material is like a more sturdy, solid material versus the other material was very like flimsy. If you want a twisted bun wig, don't get the other one. Y'all need to get this one. Now, I did buy this one because I saw my girl, Nini, AKA Queen of Mindset. She bought this one and she put a scarf on. So I was like, yes, Nini, I got some scarves too. So I bought this scarf from the beauty supply store, this nice print. 
$3.99. If I see a scarf that resembles it or some other scarves of different patterns, I will link it down below. So we're just gonna wrap this up really pretty and see what she's gonna look like. Y'all, I look like someone's Nubian goddess. What? <laughs> Yo, who's on the website? Who's on the website? Because this is gorgeous. I love the way they made this. I love how this twisty bun is actually sturdy and solid. It doesn't feel like it's flipping everywhere. Beautiful. And you can just easily just put on a different print to jazz it up. I love the print that I found at the beauty supply store. Y'all, this is definitely a must have. I mean, this is so easy. You can get this done in less than a minute, y'all. Throw it on, tie up, and you're out the door. This is a style that you can wear like dressed up. Like this dress is something you can dress up and I, I can see myself wearing this style with this dress. And I probably would wear, I like the hoops, but if I was, trying to dress up a little bit more, I would wear different earrings. Probably like some very nice stud, big stud earrings, or maybe some drop down earrings. Oh my goodness, I'm so hyped. Mimi, thank you so much for putting me on to this wig. Y'all better check out her channel. Okay, we are here. <laughs> I swear, I love this. I can't believe this is now a thing for me. I wasn't wearing headbands back in the day. Yeah, here we are. So y'all ready for wig number five? Because this should be very interesting. <laughs> All right, y'all ready, let's go. Okay, so we are here with wig number five. I showed y'all this in the beginning. It's a very bright red. I thought this to me in person, it looks burgundy, but this looks bright on camera. And it has this pattern headband. I think the headband itself is just okay. Not that impressed with it but it's all right. Drawstring here, and we're gonna be coloring my hair. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. So what I'm gonna do first, throw it on. Okay, so that was easy enough. I threw it on. I'm adjusting the back, tucking it under, right? This is what it looks like without doing anything. I think the curls are cute, and I actually like the way it's, it's like falling some of it to the side. Now we're gonna use this spray. I first found this spray like a long ass time ago, like 10 years ago. I have two different colors. I have the burgundy color and I have the red wine color. Because I saw a YouTuber use red wine and it looked brighter. So I was like, let me just get both and see which one matches. Let's start with the burgundy. Oh my God, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm literally about to use a piece of this box to like, let's see. Let's see what color is gonna come out. Okay, so the color that we're getting is definitely a burgundy color. And this is washable, y'all, okay? Interesting, huh. So, this is, okay. This is burgundy, but I, I think I wanna try the red one. I think that's what we're gonna do. I know it looks crazy right now, but, but bear with me. All right, now we are trying the red wine color. Okay, y'all ready? Oh, y'all see the difference? The red wine definitely goes with this color better than the burgundy. All right, we're using the red wine. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to clean this up and then I'll be back on camera to show y'all. Right now, after I use this makeup wipe to wipe the spray off my face, I'm literally just brushing in the spray on color onto my hair. And <laughs> this is interesting. What do y'all think of what I'm doing right now? This color, this red wine color, Still doesn't completely match. I think I should have just gotten red. Like if I would have just gotten the can color red, this would have been a perfect match. Yeah, cause now it's starting to look pink. Oh my God. Okay, this isn't real, this isn't like a real burgundy. I wish they would have just put red on the box, but that's fine. Y'all see what I was going for <laughs> with this spray color. And I think I did a pretty, Pretty good job applying it, you see? And you can just use your brush to brush the color 
in and make it look even and not splotchy. Now, also, this spray does get on your fingers. So to seal it, I did read that you can spray like a hairspray, like got to, got to be glue-free spray. You can spray it and then dry it with a blow dryer, make sure it's completely dry. And then I heard that will stop the color from transferring onto your fingers. Again, this is still a temporary color spray, so it will come off when you wash your hair. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that. I'm a little disappointed that it's not a perfect match, but at least I got to show you all what my vision was. So I hope you all still like it. <laughs> I think this style is really cute and this would have been bomb if this was like the perfect red. But yeah, that's what I did. We are switching it up with these headbands, okay? Like don't feel like you're limited to what they give you. Feel free to step outside the box, grab you some extra tools, and get to work. All right, y'all, I know y'all like, wow, Gladys, now your hair is magenta. <laughs> Oh my God, I really miss short hair. Fun fact about me, I used to have like a Caesar for like two years in a row, back when I was like 24, 25. And one thing I regret when I had short hair, I wish I colored it. I think this would look so good on me. But now I'm like so attached to the hair on my head, I'm just not in the mood to cut it right now. Eh, who knows, maybe in a few years. All right, y'all, we still have one more wig. <laughs> And this is another bang wig. I'm not worried about the color right now because the bangs will cover it. It does have this super pretty blue headband, which I really like. And I believe I showcased this one before. It's just that this is a colored wig. And the color on this is like a 30 color. And I really like the ombre effect they have here. This wig actually feels a little less dense than the other wigs I've reviewed. So when I throw her on here, you see I throw her on and I can fluff her out a bit. These coils are so cute. I'm not even gonna um, trim the bang on this one. Of course, you guys would not have colored your hair like me, so this would not be a thing. But you see how this thing comes down and just covers your edges like no other? Spray color who? I didn't do it. You can't see it. <laughs> so I think this is another easy throw on and go type of style. Let me tell you, I'm so impressed by these. Amazon headband wigs, it's ridiculous. This is definitely mimicking human hair, can be curly hair for a fraction of the price. To me, one of the cons for this one, it might be a con for other people, is the density because I'm feeling traps very easily in this one. Whereas in my other kinky curly Amazon headband wigs, I couldn't feel the tracks as easily. Like there was just like maybe three more tracks of hair here where with this one it's lacking. So, I mean, I think it still looks pretty good, but to me, because I've reviewed so many of these wigs by now, I can see the difference. The bang is like super full, but that's usually the case. Nevertheless, I really love this blue headband, this sparkly one. I love it with the 30 color. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. This is one of those wigs where you're gonna be fooling people. I'm telling you, you're gonna go out and people are gonna think you just colored your natural hair. Real talk. And as far as softness, I think this one feels semi-soft definitely not as soft as the first batch that i bought in my first video but look at that okay glad it's awesome. <laughs> i'm here for it all right y'all let me know how you feel about these wigs in the comments down below which one is your favorite if you've been watching my amazon headband wigs let me know which ones you've purchased thus far because y'all have been hitting me up and if you've been taking pictures in your wigs whether it be my amazon ones or other headband wigs i've reviewed and recommended share your pictures with me hit me up on ig at is that your hair with three R's at the end? That's my IG handle. Feel free to send me your pictures just to show me that you've been rocking them because it really makes me happy to see y'all happy with the things that I recommend and that you buy. That makes my day. So yeah, share away. And if you are new here and you made this far, come on now, y'all. Like, what are you waiting for? Tap the subscribe button. We just made it to 16K and I'm super excited to be growing this That's Your Hair family together. We're on our way to 20K. Woo woo. Very, very excited about that. And if you want to see more of my headband wig videos, definitely check out my headband wig playlist. It'll be linked down below. Binge watch my content. Grab a snack because these videos get pretty lengthy. But it seems like y'all don't mind the longer videos so i'll just keep doing them and if you want to see more of my videos you can also check them out right over here y'all may as well just go ahead and tap that headband with playlist right over here 
Check out my last twenty dollar Tuesday featuring C, cause she's a riot. <laughs> twenty dollar Tuesday is on and popping. Thank y'all so much for joining me today, and I will see you in the next video.